Are you sick and tired of the Gmod physics engine? Well, uh, no worries, cause we've got you covered. Cause we, well not we, I haven't done anything. Somebody has made a new physics engine uh, for Gmod, and it's really easy to install. See, look at this stuff. Obviously it might not be the same for you guys if you have a worse computer, but I mean like, that's still pretty decent. I mean it doesn't remove the lag, but... I mean look at that. So nice. So anyways, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to do it. I also want to show you something else you can do. Mind my sounds. Look at this. Look at that. And a hundred frames in this corner. I don't know if you can actually see it, but I mean, I'm getting a hundred frames. You might not be getting a hundred frames, but I am. Oh yeah, sorry about my fan. <laughs> Forgot to turn it on the lowest setting. Uh, rag dolls are a bit janky though. I mean, overall, it's a uh, pretty good, easy. Anyways, let's get to uh, installing. So, anyways, um, uh, you have to put your GMod on a certain version. The uh, here, uh, I can go to it. Yeah, I don't know why you have to. You have to put on this, but I mean, it's the only way. And then after you do that, you wanna um go to a uh here hang on you want to go uh right here uh this i'll probably link this in the description or something but uh, after you go here uh you want to click on this and you know download the right one from here if you're on linux it's this one i don't know what how to do linux i'm on windows so uh Usually you want to do Windows 64. You download that. I already have it, so uh, let me go to my files. Hang on. Okay, so here we are inside the file thing. We got bin, Windows 64, and then here we got the files. I don't know what this second one is for, but uh, I'm assuming that's for Linux. So you want to open up your Gary's mod. Then you want to go to is it bin, yeah, bin, Windows 64. It might be Windows 34 or 32 or something. Depends on which GMod you have. I don't know. And then just go on that. Scroll down until you find vphysics.dll. You want to grab this one, the one that has DLL at the end. Put it in. And then here, hang on. So, when you put this one in, you want to delete the old one. This one. And then you want to rename the new one to this old one. If that makes sense. So here, I'll basically show you. So, you grab this. You put it in. You put the new thing in. You go to rename and then you do V physics oh, right. and then enter and boom that's all you have to do um, after that you should be able to launch Gmod it should uh, work if it says like error missing physics whatever then you probably screwed up the name they're all in lowercase. And uh yeah, it should uh, work. The if you there are gonna be updates for this um on the GitHub and it does not update automatically, you have to do it manually. 
So basically, when the GitHub gets an update, you go back to the uh, GitHub and then you reinstall it and redo it. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, see you guys later.